Hi guys, long time no see. I know I've been MIA, but that's because I've been spending a lot of time over on my beading channel. I'll link that down below. But I wanted to record this quick fall tutorial using this eyeshadow palette. It's called Plush Like Me. I'm not gonna do any other part of my face, just the eyeshadow. So if you wanna see how I did this look, keep on watching. Okay, so to start off with this eye look, we're gonna be using the as I mentioned in the intro, the Plush Like Me from ColourPop, and I'm really excited. This one is perfect for the fall. This is what it looks like, and it does come with a little mirror, so super excited to try it out and show you guys a nice fall tutorial. So let's get started. I've already primed my eyes with, let me just take out all the, creases <laughs> prime my eyes with a eyeshadow primer which I really like to use always before applying my eyeshadow and this one is from beauty creations so we're gonna start off with a fluffy fluffy brush and we're gonna go into runway take that and just put it all over the lid to set our um, our base, our shadow base. Now, to start off with, I'm gonna start off with this fluffy brush from Laura, Laura Lee. And we're gonna go into this color called Velour. And take that one and apply it right here in the, in the crease. That is very pigmented, nice. See, and if you just put your, your eyeshadow on one side, it won't go all the way up too high. You'll just be able to place it where you need it. Which for me, I want it to get lower. I don't want it to go up here too high. And then I'm going to take a fluffy brush and go into Ironic. And what I'm going to do is just use that to blend, uh, blend the outside edges. Since it's a lighter color than Ironic. No. Then since it's a lighter color than Velour, I just kind of do little, little circles. I can't believe I dug my nail into this already. So we're going to use Girl Band. With this color, it's pretty dark, so we're just gonna go right here in the corner. Just kind of give our, and this is a nice tapered, tapered brush, so all we wanna do is kind of stick it here in the corner of the eye really to just deepen up and give our eye a little bit of dimension and then just kind of whatever's left bring it towards the center of the eye but because of the way the color is you will need to be careful to not go too uh, heavy on too heavy-handed or you're going to it's gonna look like you have a black eye <sighs> trust me I've done it before and it's not pretty so you really just want to get it right there in the crease I mean the crease you do really want to get it out just right there in the outer corner and like I said whatever is left you can bring to the inside of the eye windshield wiper motions and you can even do little circles and windshield wiper motions We will deepen, we will, um, we'll blend any harsh edges in a little bit. If you hear any tinkling or snuffling, it's my pug. <laughs> I really like this eyeshadow palette. It's really, really nice. 
perfect for fall. I got the whole, I have the entire collection. So let me know if you wanna see uh, the other items that came with it. And so now I just wanna soften the edges. I'm gonna go back into that color velour. I'm gonna soften the edges of this. of this, uh, what's it called? Of this girl band color, the darker color. And now we have two shimmers to choose from. I think I'm gonna go with this pinky one. Yeah. Just kind of tap it on your eyelid. very pretty pretty soft color if you want you can if you need some a little bit more of color you can just deepen up this corner here again for the under eye you can take a little flat brush and go into girl band again which is our deepest color and just kind of put it along the edge of the eye Just kind of on the outer corner. If you want to smoke it out a little bit, you can just look up and I'm using that other brush. Then for eyeliner, heroin, heroin eyeliner this heroin eyeliner which is a really nice waterproof eyeliner just right here see how it makes a perfect beautiful line and it doesn't I have like I said I have wrinkles on my eyelid and this one does not accentuate just got a beautiful really perfect fine tip and it doesn't smudge especially here in the in the this this inner corner I have a just a little more wrinkle so this eyeliner is perfect it's my favorite eyeliner right now just kind of flick it out just a little bit for mascara Oops. Lancome hypnose drama I'm not gonna apply any lashes because I want this to be an easy fall look and then look up for your lower lashes if you're gonna wear this during the day I recommend using a nude liner to make your eyes look op more open and it takes the redness out because Sometimes we don't get a good enough sleep. Always running, always busy. See how it makes your eyes just really more awake. If you have time and you wanna bring some more light into your eyes, you know, uh, just grab a little, little pencil brush like this. And you can either go into this that. shimmer called Video Night. If you don't like shimmers, you can go into this beige one right here. I'm gonna go into the beige just I wanted to show you guys a daytime look. So I'm just gonna put it right here in the corner of the eye. And just really highlight, just kind of make this area nice and light. Now, if you have wide set eyes, don't do that because it'll just make your eyes look further apart. So it just really also depends on the shape of your eye. Just a little bit of highlight on the brow bone. All right, guys. So this is the eye look. What do you guys think? I really, really like it. I thought it was super easy. And this plush like me uh, palette, I'm going to do a few more tutorials with it. So stay tuned. Again, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.